Hello everyone. So I was thinking we could take this lovely piece, envelope piece here, and just create. See what we can create within it. Because I have so much already pre-made ephemera that would look good with this uh, whole thing, I've decided I'm going to try using some of that. I may use some of the pages too from Festival of Flowers insert or Festival of Flowers collection. Again, it all depends on what I want to do. I was thinking of making some kind of booklet or something inside this. So what I want to do first though is make this aligned so let's just mark it quick just because I don't want it to be perfect on there. We'll take our cutter here. That should fit it pretty well. Just as the backing, I want it to look appropriate for the rest of the folio. And I am calling it a folio. I don't know necessarily what you'd call it, but this came in the invitation collection that I got. It's basically, if you go to Walmart or whatever, it, you can get these pre-made things to make your own wedding invitations and stuff like that. And I received a package on sale at Goodwill a long time ago, and I figured that's might as well use them you know I love using what I have on hand and stuff like that and just thinking that hey might as well use it so again we'll do it that side I think this other one we'll use on the other side just because why not it up against that white so we know where to cut it. <coughs> Again, I just thought, hey, let's use what we can get at a garage sale, stuff like that, instead of always, you know, brand new. I do try to buy things on sale. Again, this is something you could very well find at a garage sale easily because for 50 cents a dollar, you know, or buy again at Walmart. It's just the pre made wedding kit and invitation kit and again it's just easy to come up with ideas sometimes i understand everybody's on a budget with doing these crafts so i try to stick with that normally i only allow myself a certain amount that i'm allowed to spend every month on crafting so I spend maybe about 20 bucks a month on it I try to keep it minimalistic I'm just seeing if any of these pieces would be cute in here I'm going to 
the sticker. It wants to bend back, it's just not doing it the way I want it to. There we go. Again, I knew it wanted to. It just took a little bit. This is one of them like washi tape stickers. Again, just a fun little piece here and I was thinking this could fit maybe not I was thinking it could fit in here but it's not going to so we'll have to figure that one out this is a nice piece again I'm just experimenting here seeing what fits what this would fit in there though, I think. Yeah, that fit in there just fine. <coughs> nope. This would. Maybe not the tag, but the piece here. All right. Again, I'm just looking through. All right. So we need some pages, I think, that I was thinking maybe we could do pages. Just trying to figure out if we want to do it that way. Yeah, we'll do it that way. All right. So, what I'm going to do is make some pages. Rip them to size. I know this seems strange. Why would she do it this way? Well, not just because then I know where exactly I'm. How I'm doing it. So we can do as many pages as we'd like on this and that's the glorious thing I think out of this is we can make it as interesting as we'd like to. In whatever size we decide we want it. So I'm making it again how I feel fit to do it. figure it if I can do it this way way easier so I'm gonna set this off to the side here stick that here stick this here
There we go. We got two pages ready to go. Let's do some more. Again, I want a few. I don't want not enough, but I don't want too little. So we'll do three more pages, I think. Or four. Four more pages. And again, this is much easier to line up and just rip it. And we can make this again into a journal. I, a folio that goes into a journal, I'm fine with. Just because. this side I'm just gonna cut this edge and then we're gonna again rip it according to what we want it to look like There we go. I think that's all I want to do actually is these pages. So now I'm going to separate them out, I think, into two different sides just because I can. All right. There we go. And then we can do it this way just because again I want it to look a little separated Okay, we got that, and I want to add just a little bit of lace across here. I think the lace is just a nice added touch to it. Now, you can choose to sew this across. Again, it can be sewn across or it can be stapled. I think I'm going to do the staple just to save some time here. Got to grab the stapler. I had it in a different area. Ooh. 
Well, just to make sure that stays held down, I'm going to grab my art glitter glue and just glue in this back part. Again, just making sure it stays. Now, I am going to make this pack removable, so what I'm going to do is just stick it directly in here. I am going to cut this part off, though. There we go. Okay, we're going to leave this in here. And it really doesn't bulk it up too much, which is a very good plus. I am thinking this would work great to allow that to flip out. So I'm going to take this and again, I think I'm going to be doing this in several parts. I don't think I'm going to get this done in one day. And you know how things go when I'm doing them in parts. I don't. I spread it out within a couple weeks. I don't try to make it again happening the very same week just because we all don't want to deal with that. I'm just saying I don't like watching the same videos like part one, part two, part three, you know, when they're long videos like this. I don't like to watch them all at once. I don't know if you feel the same way, but a lot of people do, and this is where I line up my piece. It might be a little off, but try to line it up to the best of my ability, and voila, we got our closure. Now, I'm just thinking, I just like this part, and it really looks good with the rest of this. So I'm going to cut this off. Maybe I'll find a vocal point or something that I like that with. But, again, why don't we make ourselves another closure here? So... I know it's lots of closures, but sometimes it's a good thing to have lots of closures instead of not enough. There we go. Now let's see what else we have here. It's a cute little journaling card. Again, some of these pieces may end up in here. Some of these pieces may not. Don't know yet. I'm just thinking. Yeah, that ain't going to work. Hmm. But it might work up here. So I glued it on three sides and I'm putting it in up here. And then I think we can add pieces to that. Again, I don't necessarily know how I'm doing this one. I'm just playing the game of what fits where 
and everything. I just... believe that that's the best manner for this journal. That works rather well. All right. <coughs> so we'll work on some more of it another day. Again, I'm just going to try filling it up with all these pieces, seeing where they can fit in and everything. And we'll maybe see if we can add extra stuff to it based off of this and these so i hope you enjoyed today's video so far i mean it wasn't much but it definitely has a different look now to it enjoy the rest of your day or night bye